friends, welcome to our channel where we are presenting mathematics lessons. So these lessons, like we keep on emphasizing, are meant for you people that are doing this is an exam. So for parents, we encourage you to ensure that your children have access to these uh, presentations that we are doing. I can assure you that they are very beneficial, right? Um, between someone who is watching these videos and the someone who is in class, in terms of the difference that exists, there is a minimal difference. Okay? There is a minimal, a negligible, alright, difference. Because maybe the only part that is the, uh, could be lacking is where you ask and I respond there and then. Okay? But we are presenting actually maybe more than what we present in the class because we know that uh, the aspect of questioning is limited. Okay, so you get maximum benefit. Okay, so in this presentation, we continue dealing with the differentiation. Okay, but here we want to understand or see how we can differentiate functions that have got diffractional powers. Right? Of course, you might have um, uh, this question, the second question, which might um, be seen not to have uh, uh, fractional powers that were put derivatively. Okay? Is also beneficial. Okay? So now, let's see what we are going to do. Okay? So I've got question one, question two, question three. Okay? But for obvious reasons, I'll start with the question, uh, question uh, three. Okay? Yeah, I'll start with question three. Then me, we will move on. We'll go to question two, then question one. Alright? So we start with the, uh, here I'll say answers. Right, so allow me to start with question three. Now, question three reads or states differentiate the following. So, by differentiating, we want you to find the derivative, we want you to find the differential coefficient, we want you to find the gradient of a function. Okay, so what is the first one? We have Roman numeral one, which is y is equal to. 2x to the power half plus 3 over or divided by x to the power 2 over 3 plus 100x plus 200. Okay, take note this is my problem there. Remember when I said earlier on, if you want to handle these things nicely, you need to appreciate the rewrites in mathematics. So you rewrite a function in such a manner that you have a function that is user friendly. Okay? A function that will be comfortable with to manipulate. Okay? So now, where you have a variable as your denominator, just know that you might have challenges. So you must convert. So here, this variable is a denominator. So we must try to, to do something to get rid of this. Okay, so we can say, okay, we write this as y is equal to 2x to the power half plus 3 over, okay, that's not we want to rewrite, so we can't maintain that. Now, how do we rewrite this one? I'll do it here. So if you have 3 over x to the power 2 over 3, what does it mean? This is the same as. 3 times 1 over x to the power 2 over 3. If you say over 1. Because when you multiply, you get that. When you multiply, you get that. Now, here, the equation is with this. Okay? What is 1 over x to the power 2 over 3? 1 over is an inverse. Meaning that we are going to say 3 times x to the power 2 over 3 with a negative. So, 1 over 3 tends to be a negative, which is a power. Alright? Meaning that this now becomes, when you multiply, you have got 3x negative 2 over 3. This is what you're supposed to put here. Okay? It makes your job easy. So, you have got 3x to the power negative 2 over 3. Okay? I hope we will try my best there to change.
Then plus 100 x to the power 1, we can reduce the 1 then, plus 200. Then we can fill in 10. So now, to find the derivative, it means we get dy dx. dy dx here is equal to, so you are going to multiply half by this. That's the rule. 1 over 2 times 2 times what is our variable x? The power is half minus 1. Okay. Plus, okay, here we need to be careful. Okay, we need to be careful. Okay, let me just say, rewrite everything. But we also manage the space that we have here. Okay, so we say dy dx is equal to half times 2 times x, alright? But x has the power half minus 1, okay? Now here, you don't like to put a plus, you look at the power. Because there's a negative, so you can put minus 2 over 3. But if here there was a negative, then you that in plus. Because negative and negative, when you're applying, you give me a plus. Times, this this is coming from the power here, times the variable, uh, the coefficient, which is 3. Okay. Times x. Alright. Alright. The power is negative 2 over 3 minus 1. Plus, what is the power here? 1. Times 100 x 1 minus 1. That one will be 0, so we can ignore it. Okay. So, dy dx will be equal to 2 into 2 by 1, 2 into 2 by 1. So you have got 1 times 1, it's a 1. By x, you have x. Then you are going to say, what is half minus 1? Half minus 1, you can introduce a 1 here. You can say, what is the gross common denominator? Is a 2. Alright? Alright, so you are going to say 2 into 2 is a 1. By 1, it's 1. Minus. 2 over 1 into 2 is 2. By 1, you have got this. So you have got 2. Okay, sorry, you have got 1 minus 2 which is negative 1 over 2. So this is the power here, negative 1 over 2. Okay? That is our power here. Again, here, so we can say minus. 3 into 3 is 1. 3 into there is 1. Right? So we have negative 2 and 1. What is it? Negative 2. Okay. Let me use another marker. Sorry. So we have x to the power 0. 
Okay? So, now, for this, we, we might think it's the correct answer. Okay? It's not a divisible to you agree to answer with a negative index as well as a fractional index. So, you must get rid of a negative and the fractions. So, now, how do we get rid of this? We are going to say, dy dx is equal to, the negative alone means 1 over, alright? x e to the power half. Okay? Minus. Here, you really have to be careful here. Right? Because here we, we took it for granted over the description of the 1. Okay, so now for this one, I want to do it separately. Okay? I want to do it separately. So if you have got uh, negative 2x to the power negative 5 over 3. Okay? What does it mean? It means you have negative 2 times x negative 5 over 3. Which is negative 2 times 1 over x to the power 5 over 3. Over 1. So when you multiply this, when you multiply this, this by that you get negative 2 now. I'm writing it here. Okay? Then when you multiply this, you have got x 5v over 3. That is how you are going to change this. That is how you are going to change this. From here to this one. Okay. Then, we say plus x to the power 0 is a 1. So, we maintain a 100 here. Okay. Uh, is this the final answer? No, not really. Because we have fractional indices. So, we must get rid of the fractional indices. So, we are going to say dy dx is equal to 1 over. Now, when you have a fraction again, indices here is very, very important. So, if you don't want to have challenges with these things, go back to indices. Please, please go back to indices. Alright? Now, under indices, we say when you have a fraction as your, your power, what does it mean? The denominator is the root. Alright? The numerator is the continuing power. So for this one, because there is a 2, it means you are going to get the square root. If it was a 3, cube root. If it was a 4, 4 thirds. Just like that. So it means here we must get the square root of what? x, but we continue with a 1. So we say square root of x. We continue with a 1. This is a 1, we can even ignore it like that. Okay? Then minus 2 over there is a 3 here, which is a cube root. Okay? The cube root. Of what? X. You can put 5 outside. Or you can even put the inside. It's okay. Okay? Maybe the base will put it in, inside. Okay? So that way you don't have no problems. So you can put the... The 5 here. Okay. Plus 100. And this is your answer. That's how you're going to differentiate that. Okay. That is how you're going to differentiate that. I hope that is clear. Okay. We can go to the second one. Okay, let's do the second one. So I've maintained this because it's in that what we're supposed to do here. Okay, so I'm going to explain something. So this is Roman number two, which is in y is equal to um, <coughs> one over the root of x minus plus x negative three over four. Now, if you remember here, I think we had dy dx is equal to 1 over x to the power half, okay, minus 2x uh, 
Let the three power five. That's what we had. Okay. That's what we had here. So now, take note. There is a relationship here between these. Okay. Okay. So this is what we have. So we need to take note that. So to differentiate this, before we differentiate, we rewrite. So we say y is equal to. So look. Here, when we add this, we introduce the square root. So when the for a square root here, it means here you have got g, 1 over x to the power half. Okay? Which is this. Alright? Then um, plus x and that is 3 over. You can't bring down because we want our aim is to get rid of this. Because if a variable is a trigonometry of a challenge with differentiation, okay? So we get rid of that. So even this one now, we are going to say y is equal to x negative 1 over 2 plus x negative 3 over 4. Because the negative will introduce a fraction, we will bring it about a fraction a. Okay? So this is the, the, the fraction that we have. So you differentiate this function now. By doing that, then your job would have been simplified. Okay? The job would have been simplified. Now, we are going to say dy dx is equal to the same rule holds. What is our power? Negative half. So I'm saying negative 1 over 2 times x. Uh, take note. Here, the coefficient is a 1. Alright? So I'll write this times x times. Wait. So here the power is negative half. So say minus one. Okay? Then look at the, the, the power here. The power is a negative. So I will reduce a negative. Why not putting a negative because it is plus? If there was a uh, negative here, I would have put a plus because of the minus there. Okay. So we are going to say three over four times what is our coefficient? It's a one times x to the power. Negative 3 over 4 minus 1. The rule holds. Right. So now what we are going to do is we wake up, like we can wake up with this in advance. 1 over 2 minus 1, and we need the power here. Here we can say over 1. Then negative 3 over 4 minus 1 over 1. So that we know what these are. Okay. So here we are going to say the denominator is what? A 2. 2 into 2 is 1 by 1, we put that, minus this into that 2 by 1, 2. So here you have got negative 1 over 2. Alright? Okay. Take note, this is negative 1 over 2, so here it's supposed to be negative, okay? Negative 1 over 2. So meaning that this into that is 1 by negative 1, it's negative 1. So here, the answer will be negative 3, take note. Okay? So here, uh, we have 4 so it will be negative 3 minus 4 so you have uh, 4 into 4, 1 by negative 3 is negative 3 1 into 4, 4 by negative 1 over that so here you have negative 7 over what? 4 so this is what we are going to put here as our powers alright that's what we are going to put as our powers Okay, so we are going to say dy dx is equal to 1 over 2 by 1 by x is 1 over 1 over 2x. So negative 1 over 2 minus 1, it is this one. Negative 3 over 2. Okay? Then minus 3 over 4 by 1 by x, it is 3 over 4 x. Negative 3 over 4 minus 1, it is this. Negative 7 over 4. Okay. So now, we need to, to get rid of the, of the, the fractions and the negative. So what I will do, I will try to rewrite it here. So we will say 1 over 2 times x negative 3 over 2. Okay? To make your job easy here. 
minus 3 over 4 by x negative 7 over 4. That's the meaning of that. So what we are going to do is to, to get rid of the negatives, okay, by introducing fractions. So we have dy dx is equal to 1 over 2 by um, 1 over x to the power 3 over 2. Why 1 over? Because of the negative. So because there is a power negative, so again you have 1 over there. Okay? Minus 3 over 4 times 1 over x 7 uh, 7 over what? 4 as our power there. Okay? So now, here we say dy dx is equal to look here because there is a 2 so we are going to get the square root of x then we get 3 because here there is 4 we are going to get the fourth root of x then we maintain 7 ok so here when you multiply it will be 1 here when you multiply you get negative 3 so we we'll have 1 Divided by 2, this 2 only multiply by the 2. But this 2 is a square root, so you have got the square root of x with a power 3. That is our answer there. Okay? Minus, when we say 3 by 1, we have got 3 over 4 by x, so you have 4. Now, this is the root, so we are going to say fourth root, all right, of x to the power 7. And this, okay, so this is our answer. So, look, here we said square root because there's a 2. So, square, I won't put anything because there's a 2. If there was 3 here, they will put 3. Because here there's 4, you will notice this symbol put 4. Then there is 4 here, you put 4, 7 as a power, it will be maintained. So, this one is your answer for Roman numeral 2. Okay, so let's go to... Okay, so this is our second question. Alright, so, like he has been our practice, we do the rewrites. So, this will be 3, t squared negative 2. I think by now, if you have been following this, it should be comfortable with what we are doing. Alright? Minus t negative 1. I hope that is clear. Okay? I hope that is clear as to how we can convert. So we are going to say, here is ds dt. Alright? It's not dy dx here, it's ds dt. Both is s with respect to t. Alright? With respect to t, this is a short way of writing with respect to. Okay? So, ds dt is equal to power is negative 2 times 3, right? Times t negative 2 minus 1, right? Now, here, take note. Our power is negative 1, okay? Times, the coefficient is negative 1, times t negative 1 minus 1, right? So, ds dt is equal to when you multiply here, you get negative 6. So negative 6, t negative 3. Alright? Here negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Okay? Negative times negative, it will be plus. 1 by 1 by t, you have got t. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative what? 2. Okay? But now, we don't need the the negative index. So we'll say ds dt is equal to, alright, this is 6 times t to the negative 3. I'll write this for you. Plus, okay, so this one we can take direct because we don't have a coefficient there. So the negative means we don't lose the 1 t squared. So we'll not have a negative because of this. So mean that ds dt is equal to 6 over t to the power 3. Okay? Alright? Yes. Plus 
1 over t squared. Now someone will be wondering here. 6 times t to the power negative 3. What we are saying is 6 times this is 1 over t to the power 3. Over 1. So when you multiply this by that, you get 6. This by that, you get that. I hope that is clear. Okay. Hope that is clear. Alright. So that's all for the second one. Then we go to number 1. Okay, so we have y is equal to 6, the root of this, alright, plus 2, that. So we rewrite first. So I'm going to say y is equal to, is equal to um, 6, x, 3 over 2, because 2 is a square, so we bring it here, alright, plus 2x to the power half, which is the square root, then you begin to differentiate, alright, so we are going to say dy dx is equal to 3 over 2 times 6 times x3 minus, uh, over 2 minus 1, alright, plus, what is our power? It's half, 1 over 2 times 2 times x 1 over 2 minus 1. Alright? <clears throat> so now, here you are going to say dy dx is equal to, so let's work out this 3 over 2 minus 1. Alright? So here is over 1. The common denominator is 2. So 2 into 2 is 1. By 3, you have got 3 minus, that is 2. Okay? That is 2 by 1, we get 2. So here, we have got 1 over 2. Because 3 over 2 is like 1 and half. So 1 and half minus 1, you have, you have a half here. Then we have, let's take note. Okay. This is not a negative, we can be misled. It's a, it's a, a line there for, for division. So what is half minus 1? It's negative half. 1 over 2 minus 1. So the answer here is negative half. So take through the same process, you arrive at this. Alright? Meaning that we we'll have 3 over 2. Okay, wait. Here we can simplify. Okay. Um, we can divide this into that. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Into 6 is 3. Alright? So now we're going to have 3 by 3 is 9 x, but 3 over 2 minus 1 is a half. We have got half here. Okay? Um, what is half of 2 is 1. 1 by x, so we have got plus what? x. Now, what is 1 over 2 minus 1? It's negative half. Negative half. Alright? Um dy dx is equal to 9. So we don't need the fractional uh, equality. 9. Alright. x. Here it is the square root of what? x. This uh, half is the square root. So we have the square root of x. Oh, okay. Plus. This negative is a 1 over. Alright? X power 1 over 2. So dy dx is equal to 9 the square root of x plus 1 over. Again, this is like this one. So here is the square root of x. The square root of x. And this is our answer. So you've seen that whatever we are doing here, it relies so much on your understanding of index notation. So I'm begging you to go back to index notation, take your time, understand that's when you can do calculus. Okay, that's why we end for this presentation, but with me I have one exercise that I would like you to, to do. Okay? I hope we are able to see. Okay, you can copy. Okay.
Ten. And you copy. And try this. 